Are you sure to manage all of your Minecraft mod packs? How about you try Prism? It's an awesome tool I've been using, and it can save you a lot of time. Prism may not seem hard to install, but there are a few tricky bits, so make sure to follow step by step. That way, everything is done just right. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna make sure to have is Java 17. Now, if you're a mod dev or already know for a fact that you have this, go ahead and skip this step, but I would say still do it just to be safe. You'll go to this website at Modium. It, the link is down in the description below. You can also find it in the Prism Launchers Wiki. Click on the latest LTS release. This will download the latest version of Java 17. Once it's down, done downloading, you'll notice that there's an .msi file. That's just a normal installer. You can go ahead and run through that and make sure to reboot your computer just to make sure everything is set up properly. Once you're done there, come back to this video and we'll start installing Prism. We have Java 17 installed. Now let's go ahead and install Prism itself. First step is to go ahead and pick your installer type. You have two types. You have the EXE, which is just a regular installer like you'd use for every other program on Windows. Then you also have the portable version. I personally prefer this one. It's just a zip of all the contents that are needed for the program to run. The reason why I like the portable is because it allows me to move my worlds from device to device with super simple, grab a thumbstick, put it on there, move it over. All that's done and dusted. It also allows you to, for instance, share your world with a friend if you'd like. I'm gonna show you how to install it using the portable. Basically, it's only one extra step. We'll show you how to do that. So if you're gonna install the, the portable version, go ahead and click on that. It'll download and then you'll take the zip folder and move it to wherever you would like this to end being. I would suggest somewhere like your documents folder or a games folder. Okay, we've downloaded the portable zip. We've moved it to the location we want it to be. Now we're gonna go ahead and extract that zip out. I'm just using the default Windows extraction tool. You could also use 7-zip or other tools. And then what you'll want to do is, if you want a desktop shortcut, right click on the prismlauncher.exe file, and you'll want to go to send to, and then desktop, create shortcut. I already have one for a separate instance, so go ahead and double click once you're done, and this will lead you to the install. If you are using the regular installer, we have now met, we're doing the same exact steps from here on out. Select your language, I'm using American English. You'll select your Java version. You should see something like JDK 17, or you should see something like this. We'll go to next, and then you'll select your theming. So you could do, for instance, the blue icon theme with the dark background, and we'll do Tiwi as our cat. Now, you officially have Prism installed, but it's not gonna work because you can't launch the game. So let's fix it. To do that, to fix the fact that you can't launch Minecraft, you have to connect your Mojang account. So we'll go here and we'll click on Manage Accounts, and then we'll click on Add Microsoft. This will give you a code. I typically double click on it. You'll see put in the code and then a bunch of numbers and letters. Double click and Control C to copy it. And now I'll click on Open Page and Copy Code. It'll launch a Windows account login page. You'll paste in the code, you'll click next, and you'll log in. I am going to skip that because I have an instance installed, and I'll come back to y'all with the instance I already have set up. At this point, you know how Prism is set up, and you can play it with your friends and pull up and even install from the latest mod repos. Now you have Prism installed, and if you'd like to find out more, well, maybe you should pop into my Discord, or you can check out this video. And without further ado, this is Ink Light. Signing out, and God bless y'all.